WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. If you missed uh, the show that we just had, we were joined by both Basil Chapman and Tim Ord. If you missed those interviews, go to our YouTube channel after the end of the day. That is TFNN or Tiger Financial News Network and check them out because they were both very informative interviews and uh, it helps you in your daily trading again as well. I'm going to put this right up here. This is the uh, Tiger Dollar Sale. We do one in July and December. Uh, if you've wanted to break into TFNN products and you just haven't yet, this this is going to be your chance to do it. This is phenomenal. You get up to a 20, 30, even 40 percent bonus. And then, of course, we have live trading Fridays with Larry again this Friday. Let's take a look where everything closed out kind of sideways. All right. ES or the E-mini up about 0.12 percent. SPY 0.12 as well. Russell futures off a little bit. The NQs up as well, but not too much. Again, kind of just a flat day. You know, trading sideways, not a significant amount of volume. Uh, I think this is really waiting to see what Powell, or excuse me, uh, what the inflation numbers will be. A dollar trading at 105.12, uh, so back up in that 105 range, but still below that, uh, you know, 106 range as well. This is still on the daily. One of the things I want to look at, just to kind of put it out there, and I didn't get to talk about it today. I am filling in for Tommy tomorrow, so I'll probably talk about it a little bit. Uh, then, but it's also, you know, potential nuclear plays, right? And this is for the long term. So you had on June 20th, uh, you had the Senate passed a critical clean energy bill, and this is looking at more nuclear. So it overwhelmingly approved a major bill. This was June 20th. Uh, that makes it easier, cheaper, and faster to permit and build new nuclear reactors. This is huge. Of course, we just spoke about how, oh my Lord, what is it? Bill Gates is building a new, uh, Natrium reactor, which is going to be massive, that still uses uranium. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of these smaller scale reactors start popping up, and they're going to be using uranium. Now, the natrium scale, excuse me, the natrium reactors also uh, can utilize plutonium, but you still get that uh, from uranium. And it's making me look at Cameco Corp, right? Because they're a master producer of uranium. This is really fascinating kind of stuff. I think I'm going to speak about this a little more tomorrow morning. Folks, come join me tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern time. We're joined by Basil, Steve Rhodes, Larry, and then the man Tom O'Brien will be on. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.